All right, I'm at the Miley Kai Chocolates Honolulu Kai. Company. Oh, Malie. Oh, <laughs> Malie Kai. Oh, sorry. That's actually that's pretty, pretty beautiful. What does it mean, Malie? Uh, Malie means tranquil or peaceful. Peaceful, peaceful sea, yeah. Uh, peaceful water. Water, ocean, yeah. yeah. Okay, peaceful ocean chocolates. That's beautiful. So, w what do you guys uh, sell and what is it? Uh, we have a locally grown chocolate. It's uh, chocolate made from cacao grown up on the north shore of Oahu. Okay. In Hawaii, wow, okay. And not many people know that we grow chocolate here on uh, in Hawaii. And the, the, the people that do know assume it all comes from the Big Island. Is it the North Shore? Like, why the North Shore? Is it the, the climate that's well, good? Well, the, the North Shore turns out is probably one of the best places in the state to grow chocolate because of the climate and the soil and the uh, wind conditions and the rain. It's everything just comes together beautifully, um, and the and the cocoa trees are just thriving mm. up on the North Shore. Wow. Yeah, so it's perfect. Um, Hawaii is sort of the North Pole for chocolate. You can't grow chocolate any farther north than about 20 degrees north uh, wow. latitude. I did so, not know that. So yeah, so we so are we are at the last stop. This is this is the last place you can buy it. Uh -huh. uh, you can grow it here. So no place in the United States then grows no. chocolate. Yeah, because this is the only place the... in the U.S. So this wow. is. Uh, American grown chocolate. So we have an eat local challenge, which means that we were trying to eat only local for a week. So folks that want to have chocolate, they actually have an option here. Yeah, it's grown here. Right. <laughs> like coffee. Grown chocolate. Yeah, yeah, like the coffee. In wow. fact, I think uh, this will be the next Kona coffee. It could be even bigger than wow. Kona coffee. Can I see what it looks like? So yeah. these are the beans here. Uh, these are the beans here okay. after they've been roasted uh -huh. and uh, fermented and roasted. Uh -huh. um, Hawaiian cacao from the North Shore? Yes. Okay. And then you guys process it into chocolate into bars. bars like this? Okay. Yeah, so here's our milk, milk chocolate bar and our dark chocolate bar. Malie Kai chocolate dark and milk. light. Milk, yeah. Milk. Yeah. And soon we're going to be coming out with nibby bars that have Hawaiian cocoa nibs in the bars. So, so it'll a little have bit a little bit of a crunch and it'll have more uh, stronger cocoa flavor and more uh, chocolate antioxidants. Wow. Okay. That's, and why the coolers? What's in the cooler? Those are just oh, the bars. Oh, we keep that... the bars in the cooler. Oh, I see. On a day like today, we probably don't need it. But usually, when we're out here, it's sunny and pretty hot. So just to protect the bars, we keep it in a cooler. I see. And then you guys call this the rarest chocolate, chocolate on earth. On yeah, earth. There's only 18 acres. Yeah. That's the size of the farm. 18 so, acre farm. Right. right. So that's the entire production. Yeah, whereas uh, most of the chocolate you're used to eating uh, comes from huge plantations in Africa and South America where they produce hundreds of thousands of pounds of wow. And so is it a, like coffee where everything is hand-picked and yes. yeah, it is? Yeah, okay. everything's hand-picked. It's a beautiful little orchard up in White Lua. Do you guys offer tours as well too? You know, we don't own the orchard so we don't offer tours. Right now it's not open to the public but I'm hoping that eventually um, they will open the, the orchard to the public um, because I think it would be great for uh, ag tourism. Uh, and what's your name? My name is Nathan Sato. I'm the Nathan. owner of the company. Okay. Well, thank you so much, uh, Nathan. Uh, I'll give you a copy of my card so you can check it out. I'm going to be posting this up on the site tomorrow. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Take care.